Metro with Boundaryless helping you to unleash your potential and create an international lifestyle you love. And today I'm here with the amazing Sara Kilani. Ah, thank you so much for having <laughs> me here. It's lovely to talk to you. Yay! <laughs> so excited. So why I'm so excited about today's topic, which is starting over in a new country today we're going to be talking about Austria is because Sarah comes from Pakistan and she was really successful there. You were involved and you kickstarted one of the first and largest startup incubators in, in Pakistan and you were involved in several entrepreneurial initiatives and then Sarah moved to Vienna for love and what I loved uh, what you said to me before um, prior to this shooting that you had to get rid of the ego yeah. and realize that you need to start all over again. So I came to Vienna at a very interesting time. I loved my work in Pakistan and it was really energizing but I had come to a point where I thought that I'd kind of grown out of the place um, mm -hmm. and I wanted to uh, you know explore further and actually wanted to grow myself even more and when I moved here um, I came so I'm used to 45 degrees right and when I came to Vienna it was in January and Vienna had the coldest spell ever and the new was completely frozen it was about minus 50 and because of the wind it would go up to minus 20 and I to begin with had no idea what to wear I would sometimes borrow my husband's shoes because I'm like oh, I don't no. I, my shoes from Pakistan don't you have pictures of it I would like to see them <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a <laughs> quite an adventure quite an adventure yeah <laughs> exactly okay and so you are a career driven okay. woman you are going or chasing your dreams and now suddenly you find yourself here and as you said not only struggling with uh, you know the shoes and language and stuff but really like how do I actually prove to people here that um, I have the knowledge that I am already experienced and how can I start over without getting too frustrated about it. That was one of the things that I was very lucky. My husband was super supportive. And before I was moving to Vienna, I started looking for jobs. I was like, oh, now I have to work for you know, incubators and accelerators in Vienna. I need to reach out to them already. And the one good piece of advice my husband gave me was just take a rest. Um, take in that you're moving to a new country for the first time in your life. Like you need to know life hacks before you know work hacks, right? You need to be able to survive here. So uh, that's how I, I gave myself a break. I took some time off but one of the good things that he said to me and he kept telling me was that if you know your skill if you have skills if you know your business mm -hmm. you will shine uh, I had to initially start from scratch I had to volunteer I continue to do volunteering but that has given me the kind of purpose and the kind of exposure I would have never had had I just given up actually like what you said that you need to give yourself the time mm -hmm. to basically figure out the basic things and this is what I think we are we tend to be very harsh on ourselves we we think you know we need to be performing from the first day on so when we are talking about um, the, the system and working in the system um, what was now when it, come, when it comes to maybe in the startup scene or business what would you think or what would you say were the biggest differences? Well, um, uh, in Pakistan we were a lot very human oriented. When I came here because of uh, how startup scene happened quite long time as compared to Pakistan, we just started that five years ago. But mm -hmm. startups have been here for about 10 years. Yeah. So a lot of automation has already happened. In an incubator you don't need to meet a startup every day and that was different for me. The the ethics are really good. I love Austrian ethics. I, mm -hmm. I, if they say this is going to happen in two days, it will happen in two days, right? So I don't have to follow up on people. Um, and that's what I loved about it. I did miss the human element because I'm used to talking to people, considering that, and then moving on from that. It's a human element that sounds like something I, I feel like many people are struggling with in here mm -hmm. in, in Vienna. There was even a um, study done that uh, the Austrians are actually the unfriendliest <laughs> yeah. um, when, when it comes to the expert life. Yeah. And so um, how did you then step out of your comfort zone and you know really to, uh, and kind of find a way how to, to talk to Austrians? I, to I won't lie, when I first came I told my husband you're my only friend here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need to meet other people as well. And, 
the culture is so different that uh, so I started going to the gym and I was in my Zumba class and you know Zumba is so fun and people dance I was but here no it, only in Austria it was the most serious Zumba class ever in <laughs> like you're dancing but you have a straight face <laughs> I, I <laughs> well <laughs> but, but you know and I'm serious talk, stuff right <laughs> just it, 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 there's a lot of different things but it's not because they're rude or anything it's because they have strict they have they've organized it in a way that you just have to understand the system mm -hmm. and so what are you doing now so I have I'm doing two things I'm uh, volunteering at an uh, impact hub which is an accelerator a co-working space something similar to what I did in Pakistan and I'm also right now um, working for Kulturun Reich which is an organization that is helping foreign born women like myself to integrate uh, into Austrian society. So it's something that I did in, back in Pakistan but a, an Austrian version of it. Yeah. So this is what I say if you know something or if you know your business anywhere you go you can apply it. So how did you then you know um, coming now to the fact that you've been looking for a long time or it took you some time to integrate in here? What you know what would be your advice when it comes to you know kind of being okay with the process that's a very good question because the because i'm used to, i'm used to working so the one year that i took off yeah. was for me it's like oh i have nothing to show for it even if when i wasn't working i worked on myself mm -hmm. um, i had never had the luxury to take a year off and figure out what i want to do in life or what are the subjects that i feel passionate about like for example i love sustainable development before the this year that i took off i did not know much about it like you can all work I love working too but what direction do you take and take that work to is more important I like that so uh, maybe one final question I have a good feel about you managing the being authentic and and basically you know working in the local system so learning about culture and understanding the social system and how to talk to people and you know become mm -hmm. friends with them or just generally doing business with them what would be your advice on, on this because i think it's really really important i i think just like i said just taking time be open-minded because when you come in a country where there are a lot of international communities not just the austrians just like you there are going to be so many other international people every person has their own culture every person thinks in a different way you have to pause a second and try to understand where the other person is coming from and then only can you base your judgments or base your perceptions because at the end of the day, perception is could be tricky so do that and just remain hopeful um, because the worst thing that you could do to yourself is just give up hope and say oh i'm not going to find work if you're willing to work and you have skills and you're ready to put in the time um, any employer would be happy to have you i love that thank you yeah. so much Sara. it was thank so you. inspiring <laughs> it's so inspiring to have a a role model, an example who's uh, from such a different culture but oh, is still so open-minded and optimistic and I really love your energy thank and you I so think much. this is also one of the reasons why you are so successful in here as well. Becoming successful. <laughs> it's, it's a, a process. process. Yes. Of course. Yeah, but thank you so much for having me. I for giving me the opportunity to talk to other people like this. I wish you all all the best. Uh, I know it's going to be difficult, but uh, Vienna is a beautiful city, and right now it's the summer, so there's no better time to come here. True. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it grows on you. Yeah. All the best. <laughs> So now, Sarah and I would love to hear from you. What are some of your experiences or struggles maybe here in Austria, living abroad? How did you deal with them? And what is maybe one of the things that you learned out of today's video that, yeah, you would like to maybe also use in your day-to-day -day life? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, give us a like, subscribe to my channel and share with your friends. Thank you guys so much for watching and I catch you next week on Boundaryless.